The unique aspect of the Institute for Data Sciences at Columbia is the fact that it's a university level institute. Every part of Columbia is actively involved in it. Data science is by definition an interdisciplinary area, right? It's about connecting people that work on statistics and machine learning and mathematics to people that have massive data sets and have problems that they want to solve with those data sets. Our mission at the Data Science Institute is to innovate with data, to educate our students, and to engage with industry. We're training the next generation of data scientists, and our research is exploiting massive amounts of data to solve society's most challenging problems. What data has suddenly done to our research is upend the way we think about things. So now we don't necessarily have to have a hypothesis and go out and do a computation to test the hypothesis or make a measurement to test the hypothesis, we can actually let the data speak. The Foundation Center is about focusing on the algorithms, the math, the theory, machine learning, statistics, the core tools that help drive a lot of the applied centers. Our work here at the Lightwave Research Lab is about the physical layer components of uh, processing and moving data around. We are fundamentally transforming that by uh, providing a much more energy efficient and much higher performance technology. More data requires faster algorithms, better infrastructure, distributed computation. We have big collections of scientific abstracts. We can do things like uncover the hidden themes that live in those abstracts and organize them according to those themes. We also work with neuroscientists who similarly have big collections of brain recordings. So what we're trying to do is combine the high temporal resolution of EEG and the power of fMRI to get a better idea of how the brain works at making uh, really quick perceptual decisions. We work with the New York Psychiatric Institute for some of the more clinical research we do. Um, we work with people in computer science here. We look, work with people in biology. So the foundations, which is one of the, you know, at the core of the institute, is also a kind of a great collaborative center in where we can share fundamental ideas as well as how these ideas are actually moving out to certain applications. The mission of the center is really to impact and improve health and healthcare through data-driven methods at every level of uh, data that we can collect and study, so from the cellular to genomic to individual patient to entire populations. Health is a field where there are abundant data and there are constantly changes in health that allow us to quantify ourselves or our patients at far, far bigger scale. So health is a field where large data sets plus health is going to be transformative and I'm very interested in how we can take tools of machine learning and predictive modeling from machine learning and apply them to large and extremely messy health records. Right? And one of the interesting things about Columbia is we have a great medical school, and it's a medical school with a department that's very forward thinking about how data might be used to solve real health problems. Not only do we have strong engineering and computer science, but we also have extremely strong humanities, architecture, the arts. In journalism, we have data journalism and new ways of telling stories through maps and interactive graphics. Within the school itself, my pedagogical mission is to get the journalists coding, to get the journalists thinking about data, code, and algorithms, and what that means in how they find and tell stories. They'll start to build tools and bring in new kinds of ideas that the institute can start to integrate back as it builds a science of data. An important part of the effectiveness of um, of the use of, of so-called big data is to bring design to it so that you can communicate more effectively. Image and video has become one of the primary data type people share. So our goal is to teach the machine to analyze and recognize, for example, objects, scenes, events, people, not only with respect to the visual content you have already on the computer, but also the new way of interacting with the real world. The smart city, uh, hopefully, is one that uh, has, is, is run on information, 
So we place uh, sensors on infrastructure that are continuously collecting data. And so what we need to do is then tease out the information from what might be a, a quite a complex, large uh, data set. The group has worked on a variety of landmark bridges, for example, including the Verrazano Narrows Bridge, which is the longest uh, span uh, in the United States. Uh, we have faculty that are making tremendous contribution in monitoring rainfall and runoff. My research group, in collaboration with many others across Columbia University, have been instrumenting a suite of green roofs. And we're actually taking that data and we're developing relationships that can help city planners, can help city officials. As you start to control more of the city, you need to uh, make sure that it doesn't get hacked. Cybersecurity is an area where interdisciplinary research and search for solutions is critical because the problems are partly technical, they're partly political, and they're partly legal. And we need thinkers from all of those disciplines coming together. One of the biggest challenges, right, with data science is to ensure privacy and security of the data uh, while still being able to use the data. The other things we're doing at the center, those are goals that we want. We want to learn how to use data for journalism. We want to learn how to build more livable cities. Security is not something we want. Security is something we need to enable everything else. The Financial and Business Analytics Center is focused on developing new applications in engineering and business domain from new sources of data that are becoming available. <laughs> and also training students to be entrepreneurs and innovators in this space. We have a lot of people teaching as adjuncts as well as myself and some of the other faculty who've actually worked in the, in the industry and so are teaching based on experience rather than based on just pure theory. I think we really benefit here at Columbia from the fact that New York City is itself uh, really exploding in terms of data science activity. Companies are gathering more and more data and they're struggling with how to interpret it. We're developing the talent that can find patterns in the data, and this can lead to new insights and better decision making. And with that focused skill set that they need to be data scientists, we can turn out somebody who's ready to contribute in as little as four years. Students who come here will join a student body that is uh, informed, disruptive, multidisciplinary, very engaged, and you know, because data science is still being born, they are creating the future of data science.